you can all look around still by Juice World. Uh, for this song, if you just want to play uh, like the studio version, you gotta tune your guitar to a half step down. So everything is tuned to half step down, which means we got top E string as E flat, then we have A string as A flat, D string as D flat, G string as G flat, B string as B flat, and this E string also as E flat. Simply, uh, if you got a tuner over here or just have that tuning tin instrument, you can just, uh, what do you call that? Uh, you can just use that. Otherwise, the best option which I actually do uh, is having a app chromatic tuner on your phone. That's it. Right? This song is really easy. Uh, I think there's a couple of instruments going on. It's not only one single guitar which actually goes on. So uh, it's going to be... The, the string playing gonna be a little bit tricky so let's have a look at the chord shapes i'm gonna refer to the strings by their original name so the first chord yes it's a c major seven i'm playing pinky on the d string 10 my ring finger on the g string 9 my middle finger on the b string 8 index on 7 so everything is aligned in a diagonal way this is a C major 7 chord. The next chord which we have is basically muting the top E string as well as the high E string. And keeping the A string open, the D string 9, I'm sorry, the D string 10, G string 9, A string, A fret on the B string. So C major 7 and this is basically more of like an A minor chord which I'm playing in this way. And then we have a F major 7. I'm playing 3 to 1 on the DGB. You can use this finger, like, I don't have to then move your fingers a lot. You can just be in this shape. But I like to use the fingers which I just use always to play our F major 7 chord. But you can definitely use your pinky ring and your middle finger to stay in that shape. So you don't have to just change the chord shape. You're gonna be moving up and down with the same shape. But I like to change 3 to 1 open. And I also bring this chord shape all the way down over here, which is 10 on D, 9 on G, B8, and open high E string. That was F major 7. And this is also more of like F major 7 chord. But I don't play full chord, I just keep some strings open. Now the string pattern is really a little bit different. add some um, up extra ups and down in between if you want just hear the song a couple of times it's gonna be crystal clear so we got repeat that once on each curve starting off with a C major 7 minor F major 7 F major 7 over here you can even play a F add 9 chord which is simply adding 3rd fret on the high E string and from that it's not the end of the song but if you want you can add that it really tastes good and even also you can just bring this shape over here and play in this way it really doesn't matter uh, unless it actually sounds bad but this really sounds cool see that and that's guys uh, it's a whole song i hope this video helps you let me know what song you just want to learn if you're on social media so i'm gonna have my channel a lot and bye